Okay, my friends, I just packed everything. You can see right there, frames, canvases, boxes, everything inside <clears throat> my car. And I'm going to uh, Virginia. So this is day two, uh, actually travel day. So I'm gonna probably include it in the next video. So I'll shoot some videos, some footage of travel if you're interested. If not, um, well, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, so see you on the road. Here we go. So we are on our way to Virginia, Norfolk. Uh, this is my first time I'm going there, so I, I will probably have to spend time uh, scouting. I normally scout on Google Maps just to at least get you know familiar with the area, but I didn't have time enough time, so we will be doing it tomorrow, I guess. And I just checked the um, weather report while I'm driving. Yes. So anyway, I I checked the uh, weather report and. Uh, everything looks great, except it's gonna rain tomorrow. Uh, but tomorrow we have only on the schedule we have only uh, stamping, stamping canvases, and then uh, orientation and I think uh, welcome party uh, with the artists and uh, administration, you know, organizers of the plein air, or maybe somebody else, somebody else. Normally there is some. Uh, collectors are coming as well, local collectors, just to meet with artists. So it's all good, it will be raining, uh, so we will do location scouting. And I will, you know, hopefully we'll find something. So we have to, basically what we have to do, we have to find location. We have to decide what sizes of canvases we'll be painting based on our framing. I mean frames that we have and that's it so it'll be tomorrow today is just travel day uh, unpacking and maybe we're arriving at 4 49 today uh, you know what we have a couple hours to scouting so maybe we'll do scouting today as well see that car right there with the buggy right there All right, so two hours behind our wheels. You know, we have another two hours. For, now, for some reason, I thought the driving time will be like six hours, but it's actually only four. I'm not sure where I got six. So we have left two, two hours and 20 minutes to our destination. The weather is gorgeous. Actually, the temperature went from 62 to 72, so that's why I love painting uh, all this competition in in spring and fall. And I really don't like painting uh, in the summertime when it's like very very hot, like Eastern Maryland, one of the famous and you know probably one of the biggest plein air competition on East Coast in June in July actually. Uh, I normally come to just hang out with you know with painters, with artists friends and um, it's just so hot <laughs> I'm not sure how they painting I you know one thing is when you decide okay today I'm gonna paint July August there it doesn't matter you know you're going for one day and then you know you, you can chill inside um, but painting for six days or seven days or actually six days with high pressure, high temperature, high humidity. Um, it's uh, Eastern Shore, so humidity gets around like 80%. So even 90 degree feels like, I don't know, 150. <laughs> so anyway, uh, weather is gorgeous, 72 degree uh, outside. Um, so th this is a plan. Uh, we're gonna arrive today. We are going to. I'm not going to unpack everything. I will just take the electronics from the car, and I'm gonna leave all the frames, everything inside. Uh, there is no need to unpack today. Uh, but what I what I really want to do because this is my first visit to Norfolk. I will, I never been there, never in pain. So I'm gonna do uh, location scouting today. 
see what we can we can find. And I normally, as you know, I, I'm trying to get those butterflies uh, in my stomach. So I really like location, and I know I can I can paint the painting in my mind, so to speak. It's something that I very I have to be very very comfortable. Uh, and I'll do probably a sketch. I may do actually maybe even a study, a small study. We'll, we'll see. But the process will be very simple. Uh, I will we'll try to find uh, to, today and maybe tomorrow. And I'll tell you what's happening tomorrow. What's you know what's the schedule for tomorrow? So today we're going to find locations. Tomorrow is the first day of painting, actually of Plain Air Company, uh, Cost, Coastal Plain Air 2021. And we'll have stamping, uh, canvas stamping. I forgot, I think it's like 12 o'clock. And then we have uh, orientation. And uh, I guess they will show us the, some locations uh, around the gallery. I don't think they have actual a gallery. That's weird. They, they will be exhibition will be in local brewer company so I don't know but we'll see um, so and then uh, in evening tomorrow evening I forgot what time we'll have a welcome party for uh, you know people who organize the organize uh, this event and maybe some local uh, collectors uh, patrons whatever so today and tomorrow we have a good chance and by the way tomorrow will be raining so but today and tomorrow we have we have to find some locations to paint and then find the uh, sizes and frames so, and put it aside this is what I normally do I'll, I know okay so this I'm gonna paint this location this motive uh, or scenery and then um, I know I will work on the sketch, I will work on the size, what size of canvas I'm gonna use, make sure I have the frame for this, and I will mark it. Then uh, on Thursday, because that's Thursday, I think Thursday is the first day you can paint. A Thursday, I will try to do maybe hmm, two or th three uh, paintings and I'll do underpainting and the first layer. And then on the Friday, I will return to the same location to finish two or three. And then on Friday, I'll, st I'll start another two or three. On Saturday, I will probably work, you know, if I'll do six, great. Uh, six is enough for Saturday to visit and just to work the tails and maybe some small I have five by s I took two five by sevens, maybe I just two smalls, two small works. We'll see. But this is how it works. It's not just you know you start, you come, you start, you you finish. I don't like this uh, workflow. It's not my workflow. I like to start, let it sit, let it dry a little bit, so I have another another layer. Uh, the competition is not a La Prima competition. It's plain air competition. So make sure everything is done in plain air. It's not all the prima. It's two different things. All the prima, you have to start and finish. Uh, plain air, you know. And we had this conversation many, many times with many artists. Uh, Claude Monet, or you know, a lot of uh, you know impressionists, the famous impressionists. They visit the sites many, many times, working on the same piece. So it's not just one city. You have to finish everything. Yeah. Though there is, you know, there are a bunch of artists that do that way. Just, just come, start, finish, that's it, done. I mean, it's acceptable. It's you know, if, if this is their workflow, you know, we can say no. <laughs> but this is not my workflow. I like to start underpainting first layer, and then move to put in the drying rack, spray it with um, first layer varnish, retouch, let it dry, work on another two or three underpaintings, and the next day work on them and then start another two or three. And then if I have another day, do the same thing until I 
they have, let's say, six um, paintings that I can hang. If something I don't like, then uh, I will try next day, try to work on another two pieces. So, here we go. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. This is a schedule. And I love this driving time, and especially um, when I'm by myself in the car, I can think, I can prepare myself for, you know, put my mind in the painting mode, and uh, it just goes through some philosophical questions. Well, let, let me close my mouth and concentrate on the road, and I will see you when, we'll, when we will arrive. We finally got we finally got in Virginia and it's freezing. It was 70 right now, it's like 55 and windy. So, um, so I'm basically scouting right now uh, to see if we can find something. This is the first stop up here. Um, right there. Uh, we may paint it. You know I'm going to a car because it's freezing cold. Today is a day two. Actually, today is day three, but in reality, this today is day two because we arrived yesterday. It was nothing spe special. Today is basically day two. Uh, today's schedule is uh, I'm going to the location scouting right now. Right now, and then um, by 12 o'clock, I have to go uh, on stamping, stamp my canvases, and then. I think four o'clock will be um, orientation and then six o'clock uh, welcome party. Find location, that's very important to make sure we have locations uh, for tomorrow. I need to find at least like six good locations. So tomorrow and Friday and Saturday I'm, I'm not uh, scouting, I know exactly where to go, so I'm concentrating on painting. So let's go. And I'm not sure where to start. So we'll start somewhere. So the first stop is actually not far away from uh, the house where we're, st um, we're staying. And it's actually called Lake. It's on the other side of the ocean, on the island. So let's check it out. So this is the park. Nice park. Let's see what we can do here. Here's a view. There's actually a bridge. So we can actually get closer to the bridge, see maybe. Oh, there's Marina. I like that. So let's get closer to that place and see what we can do. What we can do. Uh, here, I'm not sure. This is not bad. Right here, panoramic view, nice contrast. All right. So, so I'm gonna take several pictures of this location. I don't feel any butterflies in my stomach or wow effect. But, you know, this is a good start. Uh, so let's move on. We have a couple hours, but overall is um, it's nice. Uh, I want to check that bridge in Marina. So it's, it's looking promising. So this is stop number two and this is Marina. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of this Marina, but you can see a lot of boats behind me and we'll go to the bridge. So let's check it out. I want to check this bridge. So this is the bridge, and uh, the boat. Let's go right there. Check it out.
actually this is a nice place it's right here I think this is I believe this is iconic bridge uh, some water um, cleaning table for the fish to clean the fish and here's marina so low painting boats all right so this is kind of kind of cool So this was stop number two, no butterflies yet. We'll see what we can find. Now we're back in the car and we will go to North Fork Botanical, they call it Botanical Side or Botanical Park, Botanical Park. Um, just check it out. Uh, it is 11, I mean 10.34, we still have time. Uh, so I'm gonna check this Botanical Park and then I'm gonna check um, yard ship and I have to search for it it's somewhere close by but I, for some reason I can't find it but we'll find it so we're looking for those butterflies so let's go to botanical so we finally got into botanic garden that's what it called not the park botanic garden and I love actually this place I like this with the shadows in the back so I like the shadow of, uh, of the trees it's like chaotic uh, abstract shapes so I love this uh, then you know the shapes of this the water actually I'm not sure if, if actually this water is probably I'll probably remove it uh, but in general this is nice place and there is a lot of um, other sites I didn't take a photo so I'm go actually going to on another site uh, of the park which is close to uh, actual open water so we'll see what we can get there very nice no butterflies yet but again no butterflies yet but we're getting close so let's keep going so this is town stop number four uh botanic garden of norfolk so let's let's keep going so i was just driving to point number five stop number five to uh to, to the beach and then we actually on the beach this is the longest right behind me the longest um the longest bridge i think in i think it's the united states maybe i will check it but anyway um i was driving from from garden and i thought you know what this plain air is a coastal the name of the plain air is coastal plain air and i thought you know what Maybe they want us to paint actually coastal views, not the garden or anything else. So this is stop number five, actually on uh, the, uh, the beach. And there is nothing to paint, to be honest, just nothing. I didn't see anything. Uh, maybe if I go under the bridge. So this is the, the beach and this is the bridge, the longest bridge. It goes to somewhere. Um, there's no parking. It's like crazy. You cannot park anywhere. This is not the site. So, so maybe under the bridge right there. Fine. I like this kind of shapes. But again, I'm thinking it's plain. Uh, I, I don't know. Anyway. I was just driving by <clears throat> to next stop and I just saw this, I'm not sure whether this oaks or I'm not sure what the trees, but big trees, you can see in the back right here. Um, and actually here as well on this side. So right here and it's nice in the morning. It will be a really nice contrast of really highlights right here. We can put a bluish and then green and trees and this is really nice actually I really like this this view with this porch I can actually zoom it in let me see if I can zoom it in something like this or this view disregard this <laughs> or this view with two trees and um, 
Red nose. Or no. This or this. I really like this. With this tree, this tree, and this tree. Then of course the cars will be removed. Uh, the bushes. This is not bad. So I'm gonna take a photo of this. Still no butterflies. But we're getting close. Okay, so we just got for stamping. Um, looks like the stamping will be just in the in the house. Just in the house, so I will go stamp it. So I just stamped the uh, canvases, stamped a lot of them, so I'm not sure. And they gave me a really good um, good round of uh, what to paint, what not to paint, what people want to see. So let me flip the camera, I will show you the actually canvases. So basically this is a one stamp of one piece. This is uh, 12 by 16, I guess. And then as I mentioned, I do, and I ask them to start you know, six stamps on the big one so I can cut them. I also like this place with the shadows from the houses. Uh, so the bushes right here, they get a real nice contrast. So maybe this we can do something with this. Very quiet. All right, so I got stop number six, and uh, I'm getting close to closer to um, the station where we will be painting and where the gallery will be and everything else for exhibition. So I think I'm gonna stay or stick to uh, coastal uh, kind of scenery. So this is the uh, stop number six is actually marine. And I like it. A lot of boats, you can see. Lots of boats. And maybe we can paint some some boats. Something like this. It's a nice combination. Uh, boats are really nice to paint on, at sunset. Um, I love painting boats, like fishing boats, something like this. Look at this one. Look at that one. Look at this one. Beauty. Right here. That one close by. And also this one. This will be staying. Face lower. Alright, so let's go. And also I like painting boats on when they like this on I don't know how they call them so I like this one I like this one a lot maybe something like this or even square not bad not bad so this is one and then you can pick something like this something like this this boat very nice as well so we'll see so let me take some photographs and I will study them uh, tonight see what I can uh, what I can paint and then uh, select so now we're gonna select what we're gonna paint all right so let me take some photographs I just found another location I was just driving driving by and I uh, we just saw this it's called Norfolk Oak Oaks Park so I guess this is oaks that go, grows only in Norfolk I'm not sure <laughs> but they have a, a really interesting shapes let me let me show you so these are the shapes of the tree this is one interesting and uh, one group another group right there A group right here very interesting you know right here and right there so this is maybe something I can pull from so not many places to paint but I have a good feeling I truly have 
good feeling. You will find something to paint, you know, trees or beaches or houses or uh, nocturnal. Yesterday I went to downtown and there's a, I found one good spot I'll show you later. I'll we'll be painting uh, for nocturne. So, uh, uh, garden, the botanic garden, a uh, nice place. So, you know, we can definitely can do like eight, eight paintings. Um, so, we'll see. And tonight, uh, I'm gonna sit down, look at the photographs, and I'm gonna select um, eight, about eight, maybe up to ten locations and I'm gonna mark them and I will work on the plan how to where I'm gonna start where I'm gonna finish and all this stuff so 